What is going on, everyone? Today is day one of Call of Duty Vanguard's crossplay beta. So the beta did come out last week, but that was for PlayStation only, and that got like a crazy amount of like mixed reviews. Some people hated it, some people loved it. The reviews are mixed, you know. So hopefully today will be a lot better. Let's see how it goes. So <laughs> mistakes were made, guys. I've been recording for maybe a hour or so, and I have to scrap all of my footage for a silly mistake that I made. Um, I forgot to record a, all of my audio, gameplay and my voice audio. So here I am redoing everything, which I don't mind because I get to play more. And so far, I am thoroughly enjoying this game. But there, I do have a few grabs about it so far. Where the hell is everyone? Is he up here? Eee! Oh. <laughs> um. So something I don't like about this game is the audio. Like as you just saw. There is no audio when it comes to uh, footsteps, and when you can't hear anything when no one's near you, and that's very disappointing. Cause wow, who would ever thought? Like as I'm saying, talking shit about the audio. There's actual audio and I heard it for the first time. Of course, you know. Can I not move it? What is that? Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> um So yeah, uh, I'm not crazy about the audio. Uh there's definitely some touches they could do, but this is a beta, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of improvements when the full game comes out in November. I was focused on talking, sorry. And then um so from what I have been hearing, um, on the console, on the console beta, there's been a lot of like, um, gripes about like how bad it is optimized for console and like people have been getting 30 to 20 frames per second in most games and how bad the graphics are. So, I'm hoping that is fixed soon. Because um, I am playing this on PC. And I have a 3090 and I think... It is running absolutely beautifully. Um, I have... The game has yet to crash on me. But then again, I, re I know how blessed I am to have a 3090 of all graphics cards out there. So, I have everything max settings, and it's still running, look at that, 170 frames. And it is running amazing, and I, I'm really happy for that. Is he under here, right? He is booking it. Oh my god, I'm killing it right now. Ooh, I'm getting shot at! Wow, I actually heard footsteps under me. Who would have thought, like... <laughs> as soon as I mentioned, like, footsteps and how terrible they are, I actually started hearing them. I think what the issue is... Footstep audio is being, like, overlapped or, like... Yeah, I would say, like, overlapped by, um... Everything else. Bullets explosions 
sound effects and everything else is louder than footsteps, and that's why they're so hard to hear. But that is just some tweaking that the game can do. That can be fixed. Come on. Dang it! I was hoping that grenade would work. Oh well. But um, other than that, I think this is a pretty fun beta. Um, I do think the maps are kind of poopy. I will admit. But I think maybe the more I play it, the more I like them. Okay, I don't know how to work this, um... This thing right here. There we go. Okay, so I have to use my mouse. For some reason, I was using my, um, WASD. So, yeah, um, I do... The, the gunplay is actually amazing. I am liking this so much more. Um... Because it sort of resembles uh, Modern Warfare 2019 over Cold War. And I was not a fan of Cold War at all. I didn't like it. It was terrible. I The only reason I played Cold War is so I could rank up guns for Warzone. And that is it. I don't play it for fun. I don't play it for competitive. Like to get my competitive like... My competitive itch. I do not enjoy it. So I am really happy that this game resembles Modern Warfare 2019. To me, that is a plus. To a lot of people, it may not be. I know a lot of people didn't like Modern Warfare 2019. But I think Cold War was trash. What? Ooh. Glide bomb ready for target. Okay, that was a good game. Um, wow, I did really good. Holy crap, I did really good. Oh my god. <laughs> he flew. <laughs> um, so this is another map I do not like. Um, well, maybe I do have to play it more, but from, I've played it about three or four times, and I am not a fan. Maybe, uh, I got... Okay, there's a triple... Damn it! Can you fuck off? This guy's grinding up on me. So something I do like um, is um, they. This game is a lot more gory. Than I thought it was gonna be, and I do like that a lot. It's a lot more immersive. So gore, yes, uh, was something I was definitely not expecting, and I'm, I like that. Something else I do really like is that. Um, a lot of guns have recoil. When it comes to Cold War and Modern Warfare 19, I felt like every gun could be a laser and just would never miss. Oh, crap. The whole team's in there. Yeah, I just felt like every gun in Cold War and Modern Warfare 19 just was just dead eye accurate and would never miss. So with this game, I feel like... Um, their um, guns have recoil and you have to learn how to control them. But then again, I am also not using guns that are fully um, like equipped with attachments. So maybe uh, every gun will be a laser once I get all the attachments. Oh. oh yeah, I did the wrong button! 
Why? Why is it not working? The bullets don't go through that? Okay, that's something they gotta, they gotta fix. There was like an invisible barrier right there. Is this guy next to me the whole time? Where's this guy at? Nope, that's teammate. Yeah, uh, seeing enemies can be a little difficult at times. Except for him, and but behind me. Yeah, look, see, I can't, I didn't hear that guy at all behind me. So that's definitely some stuff they need to fix. Damn. Damn, my three points! <sighs> okay. Damn. That MG42 is nuts. Yeah, I like that one a lot. So, in conclusion, I am actually really liking this beta, but it is not perfect. There's a lot of things they need to do to it first before they release it. They need to work on audio and optimization. I've seen countless videos of people playing on console and showing how buggy and glitchy it is. I've seen videos of like the buildings are not rendering properly. They look all fuzzy um, where guns are all glitchy as well. And that could probably lose a lot of sales for them if they don't get it right on day one. So I'm sure by November when it comes out, they will have a lot of things sorted out, but I'm not I'm not expecting a perfect release, but they still have all of September and October to fix a, a few things. So I'm sure by November when they release it, a lot of things will be fixed. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.